Hi hey everybody, it's Jack Giles again, and I'm doing a review on the Cat 955L track excavator, which it's made by Joel in Spain, and it does not say what scale it is. I think some on if you find on the internet, it says 170. It's one seventieth, but it's that tall, and then the ripper. I think this is. A, I don't know if that's a shank ripper or if it's just regular ripper, but it goes down and comes back up. The tracks work really nice. They're made out of rubber beam rubber. This may have rubber, that's what people say rubber beam rubber, but I say rubber. Um, they have a little light pad right there. Oh, well, light things. Um, exhaust pipe. I think that's like an air compressor or something. I don't know. This caterpillar in the front. Let me put the front thing up. It has a little grill. Has a lot of lights on each side, right? Let me, right there. It's right there. The black, little black dot for each side. It go as you see. It goes up out that way. Oh, well, it just goes up that high. It dumps. Comes back in. It's another nice model by Joel, and it rolls. You can see the interior, but maybe the lighting would. Nope, it doesn't. Let's see right there. Make a video on the new thing I bought. All right. So my mom just had to ask me a question. So. And the reason why she should call me monkey, I don't know. But, um, all I can say is this is a nice model. I'm surprised because no one has done a video on it. Besides this 12 second one. And this is going to be a nice one that I can use for model stop motions. So, you should buy it on eBay or something, but they, the place I got it was Stewart's Hobbies in Willoughby. Um, it's nice, I just got it today. As you know, it's nighttime right now. Um, I got Stewart's Hobbies in Willoughby. They have some really nice stuff. If you go there soon, they will probably be open. They're not, it's 12 to 6 every day, but Saturday it's 10 to 5. 11 to 5, and then on, um, and then on, um, Sunday, it's not open, so, um, they have some nice models there, I'm gonna pick up another one, they have a, um, Caterpillar, um, wheel loader, it's right next to this one, but I picked this one up for $29, the price that was in the bucket. I picked up for $29. I think it's nice for the $29. I wish, the only thing I wish that this could come off, the cab, so I can see it without it and with it. But I mean, I can't, I can't complain. It's a nice model. Maybe it, maybe it does open. Nope, doesn't. It's had those little grooves in the back right there. But this is a really nice model by Joel. Um, Norscott makes another model. But it's not this one. But I wish it was. Because I like Norscott a lot. And it's a really nice model. Alright. I hope you like this video. Oh yeah. It can... It can... You should buy it when you buy it put it on do a youtube um stop motion for it because it digs pretty good 
This is my third track excavator. I have the first gear forestry one. The one with the four in one bucket, I think. And then, um, and then I got an old matchbox one. It's, a uh, um, it's a Caterpillar track excavator, which I don't really like that one. That one I'm going to be selling. So, um, watch the video and on YouTube and comment on YouTube and also comment on Vine. I just noticed one thing. These rippers on these sides, not in the middle, the sides are actually caved in a little bit, but it's probably for the looks. But I can't complain. Alright, so I will see you guys later. I'm going to do another view. Watch this model review. This is a really nice buy. It. Bye. Buy it on eBay.